What a great way to start the week. No, I'm not late. I'm leaving for work at my normal time. And look, it's daylight. Almost. We're getting there. So if I'm gonna to be totally honest, and one should be totally honest, tonight's kind of a struggle. That guy was twisted. So the things that we're putting on the wall, they're not meshing up with that one to get a nice smooth transition. So we had to put some uh, six inch screws in here to kind of help pull that guy in. You know, that guy up there, that one. So, then we had that one adjusted, but then we had to move back. So now it's perfect, but gosh, it took forever. You know, the minute you think you're doing so well, there's something to slow you down. <laughs> well, we got this guy done. And then we started to uh, tear that thing back apart. You know, we got a fur down the ceiling. At least that seems the more logical thing to do now. And then that window is going to be too high, so we're going to move it down. But then it can't go too far down because it's going to be right in the middle of the door, so we got to move it up from there. So there's always some bull crap to get done. You know, tonight's been kind of frustrating. I don't know if you can tell. Time to call it a night. Monday out. Stuff's heavy. That's my central vacuum plumbing and hoses and stuff. Central vacuum. Everybody needs a central vacuum, right? I mean, that's kind of like everybody today building a house, they're building one with a central vacuum. You don't have a robot, you don't have a vacuum cleaner that you lug around the house, you have a central vacuum cleaner system with piping in the wall and a hose that you drag around and connect to an outlet where you need to vacuum at that time. All well and good, until the vacuum cleaner hose becomes so huge that you wonder, where am I going to hang it? Where am I going to store it when I'm not using it, right? Fast forward to me building a house. I don't want that. I don't want to lug around a hose all around the house. A, I, I may as well buy myself a robot vacuum cleaner, or I may as well buy myself a regular vacuum cleaner that'll lug around the house, because I gotta lug around something anyway. I mean, noise, yeah, that's that's something, but it, 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 is, is it really a problem? Not when you're living by yourself. I can vacuum at two o'clock in the morning, nobody is going to care. Noise, not a problem. Cleaning the thing out, reducing dust when you're emptying the vacuum cleaner, yeah, that could be a that could be a benefit of having a central vacuum cleaner, especially if it's positioned like in the garage and you just have a real short way out to the outside. I don't want that. I don't want that old fashioned system with lugging around a hose, right? I started Googling hide a hose. It allows you to hide that hose inside your wall when you're not using it. I know, right? Isn't that cool? So the hose is inside the wall. You, you go to use it. You just drag it out of the wall. Yeah, like 50 feet worth. You just drag it out of the wall. And when you're done, you just put your hand over the end of it, and it sucks itself back into the wall. I know. I know. Isn't that cool? It's right there. So that is what's going in your life house. I have two of them, one for each floor. Let's see what's in the box. It 
So here's the heart of the matter. That is the whole idea. You hide that thing in your wall, and then you just pull the hose out when you need it. How cool is that? That's like perfect. Complete wall casing. I'm telling you, this is awesome. This is game changer for Central Vax. Well, so I figured I had to have that thing here since I couldn't get past that, uh, that I-beam. I just found out that the 50 millimeter tube or the two inch tube will go past the I-beam. There's a little gap on top of the I-beam between the metal and the uh, particle board flooring and it'll go through there. That means I can place it wherever I want to down here and the same thing upstairs because upstairs was really limiting. I could only place it in the kitchen basically because I had free reign of the basement. But now I can place it in the hallway, maybe? I'm thinking so, yes. Okay, so this guy's been moved around three times tonight. We just couldn't find the right spot. And then when I figured out that I could move the, the tubes up above the I-beams, then I got every possibility up here too, so. Now we're moving it into the hallway. Seems like the best place for it. Well, I think that's an okay spot for it. I realize it'll be right in your line of sight when you walk through the door, but eh, I think that'll be all right. I think that'll be fine. I mean, this will be all cabinets, and so will the one corner over there. So I can't have it there. I don't really want it there because it'll be in, be in the way of everything plumbing bathroom-wise. So really, that's that's the best spot for it. And it's like basically right in the middle of the house, so I'll reach pretty much everywhere and I have a 15 meter or 50 foot hose so I'll be able to reach you know well down the stairwell and maybe even out on the porch who knows Tuesday you've been good to me Tuesday out thing about it is it doesn't say but all the examples are showing 270 degrees where the hose is stored so I'm thinking I'm gonna have to stick to 270 and not have to rely on 360 man it's gonna make it hard it means we have to use a ton of ton of ton of pipe so I've talked to two people now people good friends people I trust and they're saying the same thing. I like the book, you know, keep the 90s down. And that's obvious, I, I, I get that. But can I go 270 degrees or can I do 360 degrees and still be able to pull that hose out of the, out of the pipe? I, I, I don't know. Well, that's a good start. Now to continue that guy all the way down to the south side of the house, all the way over there.
Well, that's where I'm ending the night. Wednesday out. You know, I was kind of feeling like not making a video tonight, but I figured I'd have to do something, so. Um, we got a little further with the um, vacuum lines. We actually got the one upstairs all in. You could see it up above there. Um, kind of tricky, but we got it. With good help from my brother-in-law. Thanks a lot. We got a lot further down that way. So here, let's check it out. Now we have two lines going that way. So now I got to make a couple sweeping 90s down at the end, and then I got to join them back over, actually back over here, just so I get enough length for the one upstairs, because it needs more length than the one downstairs. It's mounted further to the south, so that's why. It's looking really cool so far. I, I know I need more, uh, more line, more, more of the 50 millimeter um, tubing, need more of that. I need more sleeves, I need more 90s. Uh, there's not enough stuff. They don't send enough. So if you're ordering this um, Retroflex Hide Host stuff, you're gonna need more fittings. You don't get enough. So just keep that in mind. <laughs>